The North Shore is one of the meccas of mountain biking. You go to any bike park around the world, and every place has their version of the North Shore Trail. Right when I got into it, like all the built features were cut down. They tried to put a complete end to it, but we're so stubborn you can't get rid of us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it began in the 1980s with Digger and a bunch of his buddies. They literally just spent hours up there making these trails for a sport that didn't even really exist yet. My name's Digger, or they call me Todd Fiander. <laughs> Been doing it since 1984, so when I first started digging. I think I'm up to around 45 trails that I've built. The district was super against mountain biking for a long time. I can't even imagine the stress of builders back then being labeled as the bad guys. The North Van District told me that if I threw dirt on a trail again, they'd ban me from coming up here. With all the crackdowns, we needed to get organized. And finally, in 1997, the North Shore Mountain Bike Association was formed. Mountain bikers at the time were a new user group, certainly seen and easily villainized as a bunch of kind of adrenaline-seeking people tearing up the forest. The first big step there was ensuring access for mountain bikers on the trails. We've now established ourselves as a valid user group who builds and maintains things and really you know, has the best interests of both the forest and the broader community in mind. 20 years ago, there was a lot of animosity between mountain biking and government. And mostly, I would say that was driven by a lot of residents who were opposed to mountain biking. But I think the residents have changed, and now you have mountain bikers living at Trailhead, and so they think it's good. The government kind of evolves with the population. One of the cool parts about the NSMBA is we're really the only organization that oversees trails across the entire network. They don't know land manager boundaries, and so neither can we as the NSMBA. North Vancouver is an interesting situation because you've got wilderness forested lands literally in the backyard of a massive community. I think that when the trail building community looks at the side of a mountain, they see a blank canvas just ripe for their opportunity. But when a land manager looks at that, they just see a massive mosaic of competing interests, existing rights, existing title, and, and those are all the things that we're trying to balance. It's not unusual for a trail to start in the Alpine on public lands and then to cross through various jurisdictions, cross through municipal lands and then often end on private lands. You can have all the sanctioned trails in the world. There's always gonna be the rogue builders out there building something for themselves. It's more or less black market mountain biking. It's all out there and everybody knows exactly where it is, but nobody talks about it. There's always gonna be rogue and illegal building, and it's a really difficult thing for uh, trail associations to manage because eventually the land manager pays attention and blames the trail association for the problem. For the most part, the people working on the trails are working directly with the North Shore Mountain Bike Association. You would never ask a group of uh, swim racers to go out and dig their own pool and fill it with water, but the people that use the trails actually have to take care of them and build them as well. It's so rad to see these trails that were once illegal now becoming part of the community. It's changed a lot in the years I've been involved. To say that there's a, a legacy makes it sound like there's an end point, and I don't 
think that there is an end point for the NSMBA, or at least that's the goal. I mean, the goal of Trails for All, Trails Forever is that the North Shore Mountain Bike Association always exists. I look at it now and I see women up here with their little kids riding. It's fantastic. My legacy, I hope, is that I made some fun trails and brought smiles to people's faces. That's what I wish my legacy would be like. George is f***ing gnarly, man. <laughs>